Okay, so I have two beacons set up right now. One of them I have attached to this headset of mine. This is the beacon right here. And this is the, the beacon that works the best out of them all. Um, the second beacon I did have set to my iPhone, but I'm using my iPhone to record, so I have it on this tape measure. And this is a different type of beacon I tested out, which we're not gonna use um, when we implement it, but I'm just using it for now to for the example. So I'm gonna start running the program and it should say it's scanning now for both of those devices. It should say that it found both of them because they're both on and in the area. And now I'm gonna take this headset with the beacon. I'm gonna walk across my house to where it goes out of range after about 25, 30 feet. And then it should uh, not be able to find the beacon and it will send an alert. So I just got back, I left the uh, headset across the house. See, it didn't find it once, so it's gonna scan for it again, and it didn't find it. Every time it doesn't find it, I have it rescan for it, just to make sure. And I have it set right now that until it scans for it three times and doesn't find it, for, it won't do anything. And so after three times is when it's gonna send an email. So it still didn't find device one yet. It's scanning for all the beacons again. It's now been twice since it hasn't found device one. It didn't find device one, so it's doing the the second scan within it again. And when it when it won't find it, it should I should get an email right here, pop up in a second. There we go. And it says Steel Series headset has been taken. So this is a example of my project in action, and we will uh, have multi like fifteen or twenty of these beacons on multiple devices and. Instead of just doing it for two beacons, it'll be doing it for all of those at the same time.